Hello, I'm Thomas Schreiner, the Lean Farmer, and welcome to another short video. Today we got some awesome stuff for you that's happening on the farm, and we got some chicks coming, and lots of uh, fun stuff when it comes to gravity-fed waterers, and we're just gonna have a good time. So, and we're gonna have lots of improvements mixed in. So, check it out. So Jenny and I are walking, and you see we spied the gravity fed water down there and something doesn't look right about it so we're gonna go check it out. Alright, so this is one of our gravity fed waters. We got a spring up the way, water flows down, comes out of this pipe, fills up the tire, and then goes out of this pipe. And normally it goes out of this pipe, but you can see that the water is running over the edge because this pipe is stopped up. So we're gonna do do something here where I basically shut off the water flow and see if I can't figure out how to get the um, whatever air bubble or whatever's got it stopped up taken care of and this water is crazy cold so here we go let's see if we get any air bubbles so it should take a minute for it to kick in down there at the creek And we can hear it running at the creek. We'll take a walk and then come back and see if it's dropped any. So we do have some water flow, but it is not flowing like it should. So I'm probably going to have to come down and blow the pipe out because there's something clogged up in there. Um, and it's not letting it flow properly. All right, so we're back. we got to try to fix the, the tire from overflowing. We're going to use the generator because we got to have some power. We're going to use the air compressor. Of course, the hose and I gotta have a screwdriver and then I wish I could come up uh, say I came up with this cool idea but my neighbor actually showed me this it's this little uh, contraption that I made so basically this end the boot end will go over the drain pipe and then we'll take the screwdriver and tighten it down on top of it and then once we uh, charge the, the air tank we'll connect it up to this and it'll blow a bunch of air down through the line and hopefully unclog it so pretty clever little idea and we'll see how she works trying to get some of the algae off of it. Oh yeah, that's just going on there. There we go. Here. Here it goes. Is anything coming out? A lot or a little? Well, this was a bust. Okay, so this thing works great when you have a solid clog because you got all the air pressure that's coming out of it, forcing it out. But since we have a little bit of water flow, the air is escaping around the clog. So we gotta go to plan B. All right, so plan B, I'm getting a piece of conduit. I got me a hole drilled in that thing. All right, so I got me a little piece of weld wire that I've run through there. I got a little bend in it to kind of catch it and hold it. But I'm gonna put a little tack on it, a little tack weld just to make sure I don't lose it. And then the weld wire is soft enough that if it were to get hung up, um, I could pretty much get it out of there without any trouble. All right, so I got me a little hook on there little blob, I'm no welder, but I got it tacked on there, shouldn't come out. And I got a little hook to hopefully hook any of the clogs in there. Ooh, yeah. I got it, that's all it took. So that's, how it's supposed to be. Just a little bit of water trickling over, a little bit of gap. And then of course you can see the water pouring into the water. That's how it's supposed to be. So you can see that's quite a bit more flow coming out of there. And then if you look, you can see all that was clogged up in there and we broke all that loose. That's how it's supposed to be. You may say, hey Thomas, why, why does it really matter? Who cares if it goes over? Well, one, you're wasting water because it's not going back in the creek. And then two, you're getting all of this soaking wet. And you can see just where I stomped around through here, it started kind of digging it up. 
we got minis in here right now, miniature horses, but can you imagine if you had large horses or if we had cows in here, you know, you would tear all this up and the next thing you know, you'd, you'd have some um, water coming out from underneath the bottom of it and you could actually ruin your waterer. So it's really important that it works just this way. So we live in beautiful central Virginia and we're close to the Appalachian Trail. We're close to the Blue Ridge Parkway. And in just a few minutes, we can be in some really awesome places to get out in nature and have a good time. And one of those places is the Blue Ridge Rail Trail. And they've done a really nice job of laying down a nice gravel path that you can ride your bikes on. You can also, of course, walk or run and you can even ride your horse through here. And it's a uh, very flat, there's only one place that it has a small amount of incline uh, in one direction, so it's not bad. In total, it's like six miles in length, and it's very open, it's not secluded, so you don't feel uh, at risk or anything. It's just a great, fun place to go, have a good time. One of our favorite things to do on the farm is to get new chicks. And we've had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of chickens. I've lost count how many chickens we've had. And the vast majority of those have all started off as little chicks and then they've grown up. And so this year we got our first wave. Uh, we only got 15 this time, more to come. But check out a few of the improvements that we've put in place um, over the years and just here recently to make uh, a little bit better, a little bit easier, get rid of some of the waste involved and make it more enjoyable. Well, it's extremely hardy as well inside. Yeah, I'm gonna give them a try. All right, journey homeward now. 15 Asian chicks. Big bump coming. Oh. <laughs> All right, so when you get a chick, a baby chick, you know, he went right to it. You gotta make sure you uh, kind of dunk them, let them know where the water is. Uh, and you just wanna kind of dip their beak in the water so they learn where that water is is at and then you got it and then the temperature that you want to keep chicks at is they're going to want to stay around 95 degrees so you can either put a thermometer in there or you can kind of just raise and lower your heat lamp to get a good feel for where the chicks are comfortable and what they like um doing and kind of hanging out with is it yeah that's a big one right there i'm gonna say that's probably a rooster So we made a couple improvements this time when we got chicks. One is we went with a kiddie pool, which may sound kind of crazy, but it's a whole lot more room for the chicks to spread out. And we used to use like a cage, like a guinea pig would be in, and it just was not enough space and it seemed crowded and um, it made a lot of mess. And then the other thing that we started doing is, a lot of times you can put your, uh, your waterer down here and when the chickens scratch they throw all sorts of chips over inside that water and that becomes a real pain. So one of the things that we did is we added a brick in and set the water up on top so they can easily jump up there, drink from the water, but when they scratch they don't throw the chips into the water. And there's just a few improvements that we made. Alright so I'm out here in my shop uh, doing a few things, something's uh, bugging me, and I'm gonna stop and take a couple minutes and fix it. And that's one of the key things about leans, just make something better and find those things that kind of bug you. And that's the easiest way to kind of get into lean and start to understand the eight waste and then just fix what bugs you. This is the door, my shop door, and this is the handle for it. And when you pull it, it's too close to this board. So when you pull it, from the outside closing it, your hand smashes into this. It's raining, so I won't demonstrate now. But I'm gonna take this and scoot it over. So here you go, got it moved over, and you can see I can get my hand there, pull the doors closed, and not have an issue, whereas when it was over here, your hand was gonna be having a bad day because it was gonna run into that door. And I actually did that a couple times. See, you can see it right there hitting it. That is not a fun thing. 
So a fix what bugs me, something small, but it's nice to take care of those little things that irritate you. That's what lean is all about. Oh, come on. Hang on. <laughs>